Welcome St. Aidan's. Hi St. Aidan's. Good morning St. Aidan's. My name is Lucy Foster from Naomi House. I'm from a country in West Africa called the Gambia. I moved to Canada, Winnipeg in 2019 as an international student attending the International College of Manitoba for a bachelor's degree in psychology. Um, some of my hobbies include swimming in a pool of cars. The beach doesn't really do it for me because of the waves and the salt. Um, I like to read novels and play sports like soccer and basketball, basically being active, which I've not been doing for the past couple of years. Especially since COVID started, I've been quite lazy. <laughs> and I also like dancing and um, anime and also my alone time. Another important aspect of my life is my, is my relationship with God. I would say I've always been in Christ, but as for our connection, I started building that in 2018 when I moved in with a Christian family member. To give you a little information about my background, half of my family members are Muslims and the other half are Christians. So, so I was raised in a Muslim household. I didn't really have anyone to teach me or guide me to the ways of Christian life. I was actually ashamed of being a Christian around my Muslim friends. In high school, because in the Gambia, Muslims are the majority, so Muslims are everywhere and Christians in schools, you can count us. We are like five students that are only Christians in the school. So it was really hard for me to be proud of my religion because I didn't really know much about it. I didn't know much about the word. And I didn't really push myself to know about the word or to make things better so that I could be proud of my religion. I didn't really do that at that time. During those times, I was also filled with fear. I had the fear of being alone, fear of death, Fear of not being worthy, fear of not knowing my purpose in life. I've always questioned this saying of God doesn't give you things that you can't handle. A lot of people say that God doesn't give you things you can't handle. But then when someone is in a situation like when I was going through things that were difficult for me, it didn't really feel that way. But then I did pass them. It came to pass. I got over all those situations. Through his love, his mercy and strength, I'm alive today and moving on to new great things. Moving in with my Christian family member made all of this possible because the moment I moved in with them, I started going to their church and it was a whole different environment because I was involved more in the church and at that point in time, I was also ready to build up my relationship with God. And I'm still building it because I understand it's a journey. And going to my Christian family members church got me started on that journey. Also, there was a poster of Psalm 23 in the house of that Christian family member that I always see and connect to. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet, beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflow. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23 made me feel connected to God, made me feel protected, because when I was way younger, I didn't feel protected. I didn't really feel like God was with me or anything. But with Psalm 23, it reminds me that he is with me. He's always with me. He's always going to protect me. Another part of my relationship with God where I feel like he is truly with me and sort of feel his presence or his spirit within me is through praise and worship. There's just something about singing praises to God. 
that calms my spirit. I, don't, I can't really explain it. It's just the best feeling ever. I'm just grateful for having him in my life with the great things that he's doing in my life and the amazing people he's bringing into my life. One way in which he has brought amazing people into my life is through Naomi House. I moved to Naomi House in August 2020. I like my room and the kitchen because it's huge. I get to see and talk to Joy T all the time. Uh, the only complaint I would have is people don't really clean after themselves. And I understand that people are different, but it doesn't make it less stressful at all. I was looking forward to the sewing class, but COVID is not letting it happen. I'm grateful to Naomi House for connecting me to St. Hayden's Church. Everyone has been amazing and helpful with prayers for me and my family. Thank you to you all for everything. Margaret and Bettina for, take, for picking me up and taking me to church. Chris and Lynn, for celebrating with me on receiving my work permit, Pastor Dave for the bike, and also Richard. I just have to mention your name too. <laughs> As for the goals that I set for myself, having just having a stronger bond with God, getting a job and going back to school to get my degree, and also bringing my family here to stay with me. These are the things that I'm looking forward to in the future. Thank you.